British citizens in a British town, marching and flying the flag. They've got something to celebrate. This is Blackburn in Lancashire, a town with an identity crisis. The parade was through what's now an overwhelmingly Asian area. It's the anniversary of the birth of the Prophet Muhammad, but not everyone's cheering. Some whites here feel they're being taken over. Morning. Morning. What do you think of it all? Rubbish. Rubbish? Rubbish. Why do you say that? There is a lot of friggin' rubbish. Well, you live here, and this is a colourful religious parade going right past your front door. Uh, yeah, all their religion. And we, if we done it, we'd be thrown out of the bloody country. We're not allowed to do out like this. We can't have our say. It was a peaceful religious parade, but it wasn't an experience that Blackburn's non-Muslims could easily share. To white passers-by, it might have looked and sounded threatening. The chants aren't in English and the banners aren't in English. Exactly, and this is something we try year on year to get the organisers to at least put English banners up so those who can't uh, read Urdu or can't understand it will know what it is straight away. They haven't had riots, they tell you here, but they've got a growing problem that no one can deny. This is a town that's deeply divided and its divisions getting worse. The risk is of separate communities and of people breathing the same air but walking past each other. Um, I think that in Blackburn we've done better than some other towns. We've sought to avoid the riots that have taken place elsewhere and we have to work hard to ensure there's better understanding and communication between the communities. The part of Blackburn just north of the town centre, Whalley Range, is where the Asians first arrived in the 60s and bought cheap property. It's now almost entirely Asian owned. Blackburn's Asians originally came from Pakistan and India to work alongside whites in the booming cotton industry. But as those jobs vanished, many retreated back into their own community and their own identity, especially their Muslim faith. The separation between the Muslim Asians and the whites is stark in Blackburn, but it's not unique. It graphically reveals a problem facing the whole of the UK. In 2001, separation led to riots in nearby Bradford, Burnley and Oldham, and to disturbances in nearly 40 towns. I think it uh, exists as a problem to some degree or other uh, throughout the country. Uh, and it may be in small pockets and neighbourhoods within larger cities like uh, London and Birmingham and therefore not quite so evident it might be uh, whole boroughs or, uh, or whole cities, but to some degree or another it exists. There is some degree of separation or segregation in most towns and cities. To many whites in Blackburn and elsewhere, the increasing numbers of young Muslim women who are now wearing the full veil is proof that they want to be separate. It was Blackburn's MP, a senior member of the government, who caused a storm when he commented publicly on the veil last year. I described it, and I was right to do it, as, as a, a symbol of separation, uh, because it makes conversation uh, and contact between strangers that much more difficult. Now, when I came out with these observations, no idea was not coming down on one side or the other uh, between the white community and the Asian community. The significant thing uh, about the Asian community is the number of people who said to me, Jack, you're right to raise this. We too have been concerned. But some ordinary Asians, like our cabbie, said he'd just made things worse. I think Mr. Straw were quite wrong to say that uh, Muslim women should remove the veil. It sort of distanced us again from the community. Three years ago, there was only one fully veiled student at Blackburn College. Now there are about 40. Whatever the women who wear it intend, the veil has now become a symbol of difference for both sides. Did you consider what will other people in Blackburn, in the community, think of this? Um, not really, because um, the relig my religion is um, it, it teaches me and all the, all the rest of the Muslims out there that um, we, don't, we only live for the hereafter. This life is just a test. So in that way, I want to show everyone that I'm a Muslim and I'm proud of showing that through my veil to the rest of the world. 
The Muslim Asian community is expanding fast. They now make up 2% of the UK population, but 24% of the population here. In one part of Blackburn, a property developer and the council have literally tried to redesign the town to get the communities together again. A new estate, modestly titled Inspired as part of a regeneration project, with townhouses for sale, just a few minutes walk from the centre. So this is the Close Show home, which is a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half-storey house. And with this one, we went well over the top with the interior design. We actually went to Istanbul for inspiration, and it's quite traditional. The Turkish style was deliberately chosen to be diplomatic. We felt that people would like it uh, from um, kind of a, a multicultural perspective. So you picked the Turkish theme because it would be a bridge between the two communities, between the Muslim nation and the white communities. Quite deliberately, that's why you picked Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. And you went shopping. It's where East meets West. <laughs> where East meets West. Yeah. Where East meets West in Blackburn. Yeah. The developers aimed the houses at both communities, but the estate's been built in what's now become a predominantly Asian area. They spent nearly £70,000 advertising the homes locally. Both Muslim Asians and whites came to view, and the developers thought they'd buy an equal number, but only one out of 37 houses has been bought by whites. What we were trying to do, Moya, was to please everybody, wasn't it? Yeah. But what you've shown is that you can't please everyone in Blackburn. It certainly hasn't brought the people through the door that we anticipated it would. Blackburn's future is bound to be more Muslim Asian still. And the separation between its two communities, the subject many people find so difficult to talk about, isn't just a problem here. This decent but divided town is a warning to the rest of Britain.